Post-match pint after Liverpool have done the decent thing. They went to Newcastle United. They won by one goal to nil. And simultaneously, it was stressful. It was exhausting. It was deeply unpleasant in lots of ways, Mo. But weirdly, not for the lads on the pitch. No. The lads on the pitch just got on with the job. They were the better side all the way through the game. They kept Newcastle United at arm's length at every single opportunity. It is a brilliant Liverpool performance. I don't know if it's because I've seen us do this that many times, but I felt like they did. I was calm. Like, everyone around us who was watching it was getting more and more stressed, but I was genuinely calm. I always thought... Fuck off, Mo. No, no, it's genuinely. Like, if we got to the stage where they scored, we had enough to come back and rouse it again. They didn't have their first shot on target that wasn't offside to the 87th minute. Oh, I know, one of the game had a shot, yeah. And it didn't look like it. Because, like, yes, we could have done better than what we were doing, but we had all of the ball. We had all of the play. And... Yes, we've seen in the past times where those missed chances have cost us. I just don't feel like that happens at the moment. And yes, this could be tempted fate, but no, I really, no. I really, I, I, they've earned my trust. What was striking for me, Steve, was there was one under the pitch where we get the goal. It's a really, really good goal scored by Naby Keita. There's what's happening at the other end of the pitch. But for me, this was a performance that was won in the middle of the park. I thought all three midfields that start the game, Keita scores the winner for God's sake. He's terrific for all 90 minutes. I thought Henderson was brilliant. I thought Milner was brilliant. That midfield three won Liverpool the game. Yeah, and look, all of us looked at it and went, well, the midfield is where you... If your concerns lie anywhere, it's where your concerns lie. And I think that's... If your concerns lie anywhere is a big part of that statement for this Liverpool squad because... Frank, you know, you can look at any one of 20 players and go, you, you can get talking. a really good 11 out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a really good 11 out of there. <laughs> um, you can get a really good 11 out of that. So, look, look it, was, it, it was the most minor key worry ever, I think, you know, that people were going, is Henderson, Milner and Keita a midfield that would be the envy of, of a lot of the league? Absolutely. Is that good yes. enough? Is that good enough? Well, they were more than good enough and also they were instrumental in the goal, not least one of them scoring it. And one of them uh, winning the tackle, the, the much, the much dissected tackle by loads of people who all agreed, <laughs> who all agreed it wasn't a foul, but felt like they had to look at it talk again. About it anyway. it's a, it's not a, really not a single weird, person yeah. thought it was a foul, but everyone thought it merited endless repetition to look at again and again and again. Um, I think all three of them um, were, were outstanding. I mean, Kaita scores the goal. I, uh, Milner, I mean, in context and out of context, you know, I, I don't want to down by fake praise by saying you no. Know, in the context of being yeah. dropped in, uh, mm. being. 100 years old of not having played for ages um, it's a great performance I think it's just a good performance a great performance anyway yeah. um, it doesn't matter about the context um, and that's an excellent and then, point yeah. and then Henderson is, is just is just really good again um, I thought he was I thought he was exceptional in midweek and I think he really carried that on um, which is which is a really encouraging sign and and then Liverpool gets it gets it gets a change that later in the game but it's a big show of faith, I think, in Abi Keita that he stays on. Yeah, again. Um, I think all of it, you know, we, we came in going the midfield, looks like the worry, and we come away going the midfield was the big strength. And that's really important, and also to, to remove the context is important. James Milner does not play well by the standards of James Milner or some, some, yeah. some concept of James Milner yes. in the back of everyone's minds. James Milner plays well in the context of John Joe Shelby, Bruno Gamerez, and Joe Willock. James Milner is at the very least one of the best midfield three midfielders on the pitch, and the reason why is because the three best midfielders on the pitch all play for Liverpool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, James Milner's there reminding people that just because he may not necessarily be good enough to start for Liverpool in the Premier League every week, he can start for at least fifteen of the other teams. And so yeah. I think when you have that kind of performance, you're right. The context we always put it in is funny because we always we've almost kind of ranked him in our order. And we forget about, like we say, compared to everyone else, our order is still miles above. And, I mean, he didn't even get booked, did he? Nope. Like, we were doing the... the, he did the his best. <laughs> he did try his best. <laughs> and I would, love, I would love to know what he has on pretty much every single Premier League referee. <laughs> but he didn't need to get booked. He was a, it was a mature performance from all of them. They did exactly what they needed to do. And he proved exactly why Klopp picked him. Because... I think there were some parts in that game where it would have been easy for us to lose our heads when it wasn't going the way we wanted to. We were putting moves together and they weren't really finishing them off. And you think, OK, well, one of these is going to hurt us, but they just kept it together. Hello, Reds. Thanks for watching that taster of the post-match pints. If you want to watch the rest of that video, really easy to watch it right here on YouTube. Just click the Join button below. That activates the membership. It gives you access to the Amphio Raps premium videos, which includes the post-match pint, but also reviews, previews, 
exclusive interviews, and it means you can follow us, follow them from here, the heart of Liverpool.